In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to update your Leica SmartNet RTN settings and make changes in both the Captivate platform and the Viva platform. We'll start with Leica Captivate. And so what I want to do is make some changes or change my username and password for SmartNet. Uh, a couple of different ways you can do this. I'm going to do this all through the settings menu. You can also do this through your, your cell phone symbol here at the top. But I'm going to start with settings. I'm going to go to connections, then all other connections. And the first thing I want to do is to check my network settings. So I will page over to GS connections. I can do that by clicking here or by hitting F6 page. And then I'm going to press the edit button or F3. So I just want to check some of the settings. We typically use RTK data format of RTCM version three. I normally set my unit to receive um, network information here. And I usually set this to show and log. And so when I log into SmartNet, I will get a message that tells me that I have connected to Leica SmartNet. The other point I check here is my RTK network. If you're using a GPS and GLONASS receiver or antenna, then and working in SmartNet in areas where you have a max network coverage, then I set the network type to max. If you have a fully enabled GNSS receiver uh, that will uh, collect uh, or will receive data from all of the satellite constellations, then we recommend that you change this setting to IMAX in the areas where we provide full network coverage. And that's being updated. This is uh, late summer of 2017 when I'm creating this video. And we have updated many of our areas across the United States to full GNSS coverage. And that uh, process is continuing throughout SmartNet. So again, if you're doing, if you have a receiver that will support full GNSS measurements, and that's GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Baidu, then you would set your network setting to IMAX. I'm going to assume at this point that our setting here is for just a GPS and GLONASS only receiver. So I'll set here to max and I'll press OK. The next thing I need to do is edit my username and password for SmartNet. So I will highlight RTK again and press Control. Now we do have uh, different SmartNet usernames, I'm sorry, excuse me, domain names for different areas throughout the United States. In this case, I'm going to set my server to use uh, to, to work here where I do in Virginia. So I'll click on that. I'll edit Virginia SmartNet, press edit there. And then what we need to do is we need to have a server name. It should already be set up in your unit and an address and a port. And for Virginia, our server name would be va.smartnetna.com. And you can see that here at the end of the the end of the field and our port is 10,000. Now the next thing that I want to do is edit my in-trip username and password. Your user ID is case sensitive. This will be supplied to you by SmartNet. You need to make sure that you enter that correctly. And then your in-trip password, this will be a six digit value. You can type that number in and press store. You can press OK. And now the last thing we need to do is set our in-trip mount point. So again, if you remember, we set our network type to max. So we, in this case, we could set our mount point to RTCM3 max. And that's, there is an underscore right here between the three and the M if you're typing that in. You can see it there as I highlight the field. If you have an internet connection uh, from your data collector, you could also press the source button, which would take you to the source table and then you would be able to select that mount point from the list. Again, if you're using uh, a full GNSS receiver, then we would recommend that you set your mount point to MSM IMAX. And if you need more information, you can press info to see more information provided there. I'll press OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back and set this to RTCM V3 max. Press OK. Press OK. And I am ready to connect to SmartNet. So I've now started up my Viva data collector. 
and I'm going to run through the same changes here as we did on the Captivate unit and you're going to see there are a lot of similarities between the two units and again what we're doing here is changing or updating our username password for SmartNet and our network information so in this case we're going to go through the same process we're going to go into our settings but in but here our settings are under instrument so I'll go to instrument connections all other connections and just like before I'll go to my GS connections I'll highlight the RTK rover and press edit we do want to receive RTK data our data format is RTCM v3 we have the same uh, situation here with the RTK network information so we're going to show and log one thing I didn't address on the other page is is our RTK base for Leica antennas we can set um, and receivers we can set these fields here uh, to sensor base and antenna base to automatically detect and our RTK base is not going to be sending a unique ID this is basically here just for uh, base rover uh, radio GPS settings I just wanted to and the settings in uh, the Captivate unit are very similar to this page then we'll go over to RTK network again we're going to select the network type as max um, I'm, we're going to uh, if you are working in an area with max network con coverage um, then you're going to want typically to leave your your network type set to max um, if you know you're working in an area where there's only single baseline coverage you could set that to nearest but we're going to set that to max and press ok we'll do the same thing process here as we did with captivate we'll highlight rtk rover again and press control this will take us to our server to use which will allow us to update our in-trip mount our in-trip username and password along with our mount point so again we just check our server to use should be in this case VA SmartNet and again we'll press edit and you'll see that we have the same uh, domain name and port as we had uh, with the Captivate unit we'll also press in-trip and check our username and password we do want to use in-trip with this server we type in our username and our password and press store press ok again we can type in our mount point here if we know if we know what we are we need uh, but it is easier than just to press the source button and to select your mount point from the source table and we have the same info screen here that we had with the captivate unit it allows you to check some of the information that you're receiving so I will highlight RTCM 3 max and press ok press OK press OK again and we are now ready to connect to the network and start our survey